Hello YouTube, this is the Underminers, and this is Thunderbow98, and I'm part of Thundermine, uh, the Underminers now. And today, the Minecraft Pocket Edition update came out. And I'm just going to be showing you in depth some of the new features that are implemented in the game. Hang on one second. I'm just adjusting my tripod because this can get really annoying. The glare. So, hang on one second. Here we are. This is much better. Hang on. There we are. This is better. Now, to start off, you hit select create new world, and I'm just going to call it test. And now you have the option of doing either creative or survival. So now it's in creative, now it's in survival. See? And now just hit start, and this is generating new world and building terrain. Hang on. This is really bright. I'm going to lower the brightness. Hang on. Okay, this is a lot better. So, the controls are the same as usual. Moving around, going forward, and then you turn. Now, when you first start off, you're going to notice that you now have a pickaxe in your inventory, and you now have blank slots for items and one of them I believe is sandstone and the other one is dirt and then here's your pickaxe and it's now represented by an infinite symbol you can't quite see it but it's rep but the pickaxe is represented by the infinite symbol and that just symbolizes that the pickaxe never runs out and this is here is your inventory and the same goes for shovels um, axes, shears, swords, ladders, torches, doors, fences, uh, fence gates, uh, wood planks, bricks, um, stairs, the two uh, stairs, the wood stairs and cobblestone stairs, cobblestone, uh, not cobblestone, uh, stone slabs, and all the wool. So the only items you can really collect are cobblestone, raw wood, dirt, sandstone, gravel, and gray wool. So, I know that's not gray wool, I'm sorry, that is stone. So, and then down here you also have glass, cac um, cactus here, you have leaves, and there you could also pick up flowers, and mushrooms, and sugarcane. So let's start moving around, and let's just take a look at this. Now, there are two new mobs that have been implemented into the game, and one of them is sheep. So you go over here, you select your shears, and now you have to hold down the sheep. Ugh, stupid messages. I hate these. My friends and I are talking about the uh, Minecraft update. So, you have to hold down on the sheep. Hang on, if I can actually get it. There we are. And doesn't look like you could pick up the wool that's dropped, which kind of sucks. See, I'm walking like right on top of it, and you can't. Wow, it spawned like brown wool, I believe. That's kind of odd. Now, let's so shears work. Let's test out the axe. Now, the axe, of course, chops down wood. And here's the wood on the ground. So I collect that wood. And trees do dissolve in this game. They do disintegrate. Over time. See? Yep, it's disappearing. And over here is just some more sheep. 
So, speaking of sheep, let's test out the sword. And the sheep died. And it does have the same particle effect as it does in the full version of Minecraft. And it does appear that sheep, like in the new update for Minecraft on the computer, sheep do eat grass because I did not make these. I did not see where the sheep's standing, it just ate grass. And I killed it. So, the shovel, let's test out the shovel. The shovel, of course, makes digging in the dirt or sand a lot easier. And I'm collecting some dirt right now, and I'm going to go into my inventory next. I'm just going to take a look. So I go here, and it says that I have 11 pieces of dirt. And now if I select dirt, it'll drop it into my inventory. Now I hit done. And I can place the dirt blocks. And it's not infinite like it used to be. Because, see now it's dropping all these blocks. And once you run out of dirt blocks, you're out until you dig up some more dirt. And the same thing goes for sand. So here's sand, and now I have one, now I have two sand blocks. So, I do believe that caves were worked on, but I don't want to go exploring fine caves now. And you can also see you do have a damage meter, and let's test it on this cactus. See, now I'm taking damage from the cactus. And I do believe that health regenerates slowly, like it does in Peaceful. Now, you might be wondering what the second mob is that was introduced into this game, and that second mob would be zombies, and of course they only appear at night. And one of the bugs that's in this game now is that zombies do not die at night, and in the daytime. You have to actually go out and kill all the zombies because they don't die in sunlight now. And see, I am regenerating health slowly, so I was correct about that. And in my inventory, I have six pieces of raw birch wood. Let's test out these fences and doors and fence gates. So I'm just going to pick out this flat area here. And, oh, wow, it's starting to get a little darker. And the fences do work as they would in the normal game. And now here's the door. And to open up and close the door, just click on it. Whoops. It's getting darker, so I'm just going to put out a torch or two. Now, I don't really care about this world. This is just to demonstrate the new features. So, once... If I take damage from zombies, I don't particularly care. Speaking of which, there's a zombie right up here. And zombies look the exact same. Up, oh, they're coming after me. Swords ready! Yeah, yeah. Die. Alright, now let's test out this fence gate. So you place the fence gate, and of course you click on it. Like the door, it opens, and now it shuts. And... You also have ladders, and pretty much the rest of the game functions as normally as the original game did before the update came out. And if you're wondering what these two red dots are on my screen, that's just from my camera. But, so the new update pretty much consists of new items, such as tools like shovels, pickaxes, axes, shears, the one weapon would be a sword. It also has doors, fences, and fence gates. You can also now get leaves. And you can also now get cactuses. So, those are the new items implemented into the game. And the ones that you actually have to collect are cobblestone, raw wood, dirt, sandstone, gravel, and stone. And... 
What the heck? Okay. Man, everybody's calling me about like this new Minecraft update, but anyway. So this pretty much was just to demonstrate the new features in Minecraft Pocket Edition for iOS. Now, I'm sorry if the quality wasn't that good. And yes, um Druzy12 just texted me they added flying and that's only in creative mode. I'm about to go show you that. All games created prior to um version 2.0 were are in um creative and here I just built this castle. And if you double tap in creative mode, you can see you're now flying and double tapping the up button you can go up double tapping down uh, double tapping down button brings you down now if I go all the way up here and I double tap the jump button I fall so Minecraft still functions normally. The game pretty much is the exact same, with the exception of new items and mobs. And in future updates, not that so they are going to be adding caves, which is pretty cool. Well, actually, caves are added, but they're going to work on them a little bit more. And there's also going to be crafting. So, thanks for watching my first look at Minecraft Pocket Edition version .2 Alpha update. And I hope you enjoyed. And don't forget to subscribe to the Underminers and my channel, Thunderbow98.